Yeah, him. Anyway, I'm Sano's sponsor, and he's in terrible trouble right now. So I need you to help him out. You're the only hope I've got. <sighs> Episode 18, The Law of the Blood-Curdling Dogra Mansion. Glad you made it, Sano. Your designer's taking this masculine theme way too far. What the place needs is a feminine touch. If you ask me, we should try and get more chicks to join the Roberts 10. The Roberts 10 Chief of Staff, Carl P. Accio. Nicknamed Carpaccio, Year 3. Hobby, making lace. Well, I guess it'll have to do. Now. Ah! It looks like you've gained five talents, Sano. You recently beat five guys. Hmm. More, Carpaccio. Another two and I'll have 20 under my belt. Listen, I hope you plan on keeping the promise you made to me. <laughs> of course. Excellent. Is it true that the entire Roberts 10 were wiped out? And by a single guy, no less? Yeah, huh? So who gets the credit? Who finally managed to take out that snobby brat, Miojin? Ueki. A guy called Kosuke Ueki. Huh? Huh? What? Anyway, here's the deal. We thought we'd invite this Ueki dude to a little party to check him out and see exactly what he's able to do. Right, Robert? Mm. We've already rounded up the people we need to keep him under control. Oh. Mm. New member of the Roberts 10, Yun Pao. Year 3. Likes anything sweet. New member of the Roberts 10, Kabra. Year 3. Favorite motto, be serious. And don't sweat it. They're all stronger than Miyoji. Sano, I would really like you to be there at the party as well. You'll accept, I presume? Did you do it? <laughs> I'm up to six stars now! <laughs> uh, Ueki? I can't believe this! It was a big enough shocker to hear that Ueki's a celestial. But then you say he attained the five-star and the six-star level in a single day of testing in the Awakening Chamber? A little advice. Getting your injuries taken care of in the Healing Beast is fine and all, but I still think you're overdoing it. Aw, oh, come on. I don't want to waste my time while Rinko's in the hospital getting treated for her injuries. And I've got to wait, because only she knows where Robert is. Anyway, I've done what I can for the time being, except one thing. I've got to rescue Sano from the Roberts 10. Just trust me. It's not in Sano's nature to lend a hand to the likes of Robert Hayden. I know more than anyone that the spirit of righteousness is alive in Sano. He must have joined for a good reason. Funny choice of words. Did you just say righteousness, dude? Yeah, why? Oh, I get it. Your previous sponsor, Kobayashi, was always going on about that. Are you saying you know Mr. K? That's right, because Kobayashi was almost like a teacher to me, in a strange kind of way. Wonko? What are you gonna make your kid do when you get to Earth? Uh, well, I'll keep learning from you, and I'll try to make him take the path of righteousness. Wonko, 
Righteousness isn't the sort of thing that you can force on someone. You've got to see if he has it in him to begin with. That's all you can do. Make sure you find a kid with a solid sense of decency. Yeah, sure thing. So that was how it all started. Ha! All I hear about is righteousness, and it's starting to sound cheap. It's settled then. What's settled? I made up my mind to go with you, Wonko. Uh, You're a friend of Mr. K, so I can trust you. Plus, you picked Sano to sponsor in this tournament, and he's a really decent guy. But, go, Sir K. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. I can rescue Sano, trust me. Uh, thanks a lot. That's great. Wonder what it is. Huh? Unreal. It's an invitation from Robert to a party. There's even a map. Invitation? Wake up! It's obviously a trap. Yeah, but at least I know where his new hideout is. So now I don't have to wait for Rinko anymore. Watch out, Ueki! Huh? Ah! 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 Who did that? I'm afraid I can't let you go to Robert. Huh? Rinko? If you still insist on going after him, then you'll have to get past me first. What do you think you're doing, Rinko? You have two choices here. Either hand over the invitation, or else you're gonna have to fight me. No way. I don't have a clue why you're acting like this. Listen, if you fight Robert, I guarantee you'll go down, and hard. I just don't want to see you march off to your finish. Please, Ueki, I'm begging you not to fight him. <laughs> Power to change beads into bombs! Kosuke! <sighs> you missed again. I don't understand. Why don't you even try to dodge my attacks? I could have actually hit you, you know. <sighs> Look, there's no way you're getting the card, and I really don't want to fight you. <sighs> Ueki. In that case... Rinko... Stay back! <laughs> They'll explode the second you step on them. Hand me the invitation. Otherwise, you'll force me to set off those bombs myself. Hmm. <gasps> You'll get yourself messed up! Mm. Don't come any- ah! Ah! Don't do this! I'm the only person who should have to sacrifice herself in this battle. Robert is the first boy I've fallen in love with. I want to fight Robert and make him see the light. I'll do it, even if it means putting my life on the line. Ueki, I won't let Robert take you down! That's why- so that's what this is about. Why didn't you say so? Ah! <gasps> no. <gasps> See, I'm not going anywhere. <sighs> so stop feeling like you have to take all the responsibility. If this is tough for you, then stick with us. We are your friends, after all. Five days later. So, what are you doing here? I'm sick and tired of sitting at home waiting and worrying, that's what. Anyway, you're clear on why you're going today, right? Of course I am. Rescue Sano, get him to join us. And then I'm gonna destroy Robert. Cool. Let's get this done. Yay! It's here. A game arcade? This place? Figures. Out of order? This is the secret entrance. Oh, yeah? Welcome, Ueki. <gasps> Look, it's Robert! I wanted to do something special to congratulate you on your accomplishments. So I prepared a game that I think you'll find interesting. What's with this guy? Is he totally stringing you along or what? 
Later, I wish you all good luck. Robert. Okay, let's do it. Right. Now, everyone, stick a coin in your machine. It's gonna cost me money! Here's how it works. If you want to get into the hideout, you have to enter the warp zone that's hidden somewhere along this course. Make sure to stick close to me and don't get separated. Head straight for that billboard up ahead, because that's it! The warp zone! We're in! Place. How could there be such a massive underground tunnel below the game arcade? Welcome, Ueki. I'm glad you could make it. Robert. Robert. Well, let's get started. See the armbands over there? You can't enter the building unless you put those on. Meaning... What you see is an underworld-themed amusement park. We call it the Dogra Mansion. Mole rat, mole rat, mole rat, mole rat. Mole rat Mansion! It's Dogra Mansion! Oh, and by the way, the boy with the hat and that nosy-looking girl over there. Eh? Go home so you don't get in the way. You think I'm nosy and in the way? Who the heck do you think you are anyway? I'm not the kind of girl to come all this way and then give up, you know. Come on, people. I get first dibs on Robert. Poor guy. Huh? Uh, what is this place supposed to be anyway? This is the slot room. Let me take this opportunity to explain how the game is going to work. Sure, go for it. You four will fight against four opponents that I've set up for you in special fields. And the team that wins three out of five matches is the winner. Wait, four of us? Hey, hang on a second! All of a sudden, I'm part of this? Me too? Mm. You did put those armbands on, remember? As soon as you did that, you confirmed that you wanted to be part of the game. You're not serious! Yep, and it's too late to turn back. Inside those armbands is a poisonous sting that can kill even an underworld beast in an instant. If you refuse to take part, or if your team loses, the poison will kick in and it'll be game over. <laughs> Robert. Well, don't blame me. I mean, she's the one who put it on. Ah, you could have warned me about this before! <laughs> now then, why don't I outline the rules of the game? Look at the sculpture on your left. That's the slot machine. It will determine three things. One of your players, one of our players, and the arena in which the fight will take place. Uh? After each battle, the winning team gets a turn at the slot. And then they get to use the panel that's right before you. Why are you doing this anyway, Robert? What's the point? Well, that's a pretty silly question. Because it's fun! I mean, isn't that what games are all about? <laughs> uh, you call this a game? You're messing with people's lives, you know? Now, now, don't knock it, because if you win, I'll grant you one wish. But only if you win. All right, let's begin. It's about time, man! I was getting tired! Sano. Uh, Sano! What were you thinking joining the Roberts 10? You must have a reason. <laughs> Something tells me our guy doesn't want to talk to you! Sano, no! Wonko, Ueki, why did you come here? I still can't believe it, though. You've advanced to the point where you could wipe out the Roberts 10, Ueki. I was hoping we'd meet again under different circumstances. Hey, Rinko, who's the big talking dude over there with the six-pack? Carpaccio, the Roberts 10 chief of staff. He's the guy that directly oversees the group and recruits new members. My guess, the people behind him are new to the team. Since you're my guest, I'll let your side take the first turn at the slot machine. This thing? Mm. <clears throat> You choose the player from your team by pressing the button on the left side of the control panel. That's me! The button on the right determines the player of the opposing team. Yeah! Huh? I'm up? 
And finally, when you press the button in the middle, you'll determine the battlefield. Oh, what do you mean? Cake! It's a cake field? You'll all be warped to the battlefield now. or forcing him off the cake. I don't like the looks of this. It seems like the teammates can't do anything to assist their partners. Go ahead and start your match. I just knock out Bakery Boy over there, huh? I sure love my cakes and stuff. Oh, oh. I'll end this fast. We're all got it! being bugged when I'm eating my cake. Power to... Here it comes. Change electricity into sugar! Hmm? Is this for real? Uh, this is trouble. Look out, Ueki! Change back! Huh? Now! Ah! <laughs> what just happened down there? He's using his limiting condition. Huh? There's a restriction that applies to every power used by the players. For instance, the limiting condition on Sano's power is that he has to hold his breath. In other words, he can only change towels into iron while he stops breathing. When he breathes, they change back to towels. Judging by what we just saw, when Yun Pao stops his limiting condition, he's able to change the sugar back into electricity. What a brutal way to attack somebody. He's finally out of the way, so now I can keep on eating. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, Ow. Huh? You're still standing? Uh, you must have been thinking ahead, even when you first got this power from your sponsor. Huh? Not at all. I just thought it would be tasty to be able to change something into sugar, see? Uh, he calls that a reason? Why even bother going through all that trouble? How come you don't just attack me with your electricity? Ronma! do that. But you see, it'd be way too easy for you to dodge my attack. This way. Change back now! This sugar is powdered, so there's no way to escape it. My body's getting heavier. I told you about that at the start, remember? On this battlefield, you can increase your opponent's weight by one kilogram for every 100 grams of cake you eat. No way. Better defeat your challenger soon, or you'll keep gaining weight, and that'll be a real disadvantage. Uh, uh, you're up again? I wish he'd stop bugging me. Change uh, back. Uh, Concentration to bring out the sacred weapons. I get it. There is no way you can use them while you're getting electrocuted. Sugar? Uh. Don't get up, Kosuke. I'm gonna be oh. huge in no time. Oh. Darn it all. This means war. <laughs> is he crazy? You can play at this game. What? Ow, 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 ow. Huh. So what if Yun Pao packs on some more weight? With his ability, I doubt it'll make a difference. Look at them! Is this for real? What a weird battle! You know, I'm kind of envious. Not! Ueki! You've got to find Yun Pao's limiting condition! What's she going on about? Hey, yeah! Check out those poses he takes when he changes the sugar back to electricity. 
Try to remember, even though he takes a different position every time, I bet there's a common pattern in there somewhere. He must hmm. be controlling his limiting condition by using those weird poses. Hmm. But like you just said, they're totally different every single time. All right. Until I discover what his power restriction is, I'll have to get him to do his thing over and over. Don't be ridiculous. I might survive it, but you won't be able to take that kind of punishment. Urogane! Change back now! Withdraw from this fight. You can't be serious. Why won't you pull out, Kosuke? No chance. I hate just giving up. That's the only reason. Dancing, I. 